Bowman here from BW1.com and we're going to do some video editing on the Motorola Zoom. So the Motorola Zoom with Android 3.0 comes with a movie studio application that allows you to edit all your pictures and videos that you've taken with the device and put it into one movie clip and upload it and share it to where you want to. So it's pretty cool. We're just going to walk through it real quick. We're going to start off with a new project. Tyler BW1. And here here we are. This is pretty much the main interface. This would be pretty familiar to those who do a lot of video editing. So you have this, this um, left side here, this circle here. This pretty much allows you to zoom in and out of the track to how far you want to zoom in, how far you want to zoom out. This is the uh, this is where you layer all your video tracks and music and uh, titles down there. On this side is sort of your playback controls there too. And you have little icons here for different things. So the little icon here is for video. This one's for picture. And this is your menu of options. So let's add some video. Add a quick video here. So I'll add this one in the subway. And you see there it'll load up. And what we can do is we can either stretch like this to zoom in deeper or uh, push in to zoom in less. So we can use up here too. And you can kind of pull to kind of go the track and kind of read through it to go to the points that you want to go to. Pretty cool. Now I will say that it does take a bit of time for sort of each element to load. So if you zoom in closer, it's going to take longer for the shortcuts to show up. If you want to play the um, track quickly, just tap on it there like that. And sometimes it can take a few to actually start. So there's still, still some bugs in this application, I would say. But it, it is usable. Let's wait for it there to start. Let's see if it starts up. Nope. Didn't want to start up there for us. Let's try that again. There we go. And you can do a number of different edits with it. So if you tap on the actual uh, file and you can hold these little green sticks on the side, and you can shorten it. You can lengthen it back out. You can um, add transitions. So if you want to add a transition, you have different transitions you can add from across, fade, fade to black, depending on what you want to do. And you can also change the duration of that actual, uh, of that actual um, transition as you want to too. You can also add different effects over it. So if you want to use a gradient effect, you can. It'll load it up on there just like that too. And you can remove that later if you want to. You want to change the stuff here, you can. And you want to remove the effect, you just hit that to remove the effect. You can add more content to it too. So let's say we want to add a picture. We'll just add a, a sickle sign picture here. And that loads up. And let's say we want to change the order of this. We can actually actually hold this down and move it. And then move it over there to the front. We can also add transitions between the two of them here. So say we want to add a transition right here at the end. And we want to add a crossfade. It'll add it in, but you have to wait for that to load up before you can do anything else. So once the green bar goes and it's loaded up, that means the transition's available. And then that means now you can go back to doing some editing. So that's one little um, quirk in it that I've seen before too. You can also add uh, titles to it if you want to. I did find when I did my, my big video edit, it seemed like you can only add so many transitions because after a while it told me that it couldn't add anymore, that it would, the clips were too short, which didn't make a lot of sense. And it wouldn't let me add a title neither. We'll try to add a title here. We'll just add a test. Click OK. You can see that it adds it there. And you can actually extend how far you want that to go out too. So we can get that past. Oh, because the transition's there. That's why. So we'll just hold that down. We'll just, there we go. Oh, because the transition's there. That's why we can't do that. But you can extend that out further if you want to. Pretty cool stuff here. Um, you can also add music to it as well, too. If you want to add an audio track, just click on that um, that um, speaker. Yeah. Black, black, bright lights, bigger city, instead of black and yellow. And you can see the loading up there below. So you kind of got to wait for things to load up before you can kind of keep going. You can keep going, but you know the video previews ain't going to show up. Little things aren't, aren't going to show up on there for you, so you want to wait. All right, you see that the file's there and it's uploaded and ready to go. So we can do we can do like a quick test. We can just, and you can see the transition there. So it's still a little quirky at times too, so so we've noticed there. It's still a little quirky, a little hurt quirky jerky there from time to time, but hopefully they can develop better inside this application. Right now it's usable. I would not say it's the best, 
but it's definitely usable. So um, let's say we're done. We want to export. Just click on export and movie. And you can change from different sizes. You have 848 by 480 which, or you can be 1280 by 720p. You can change the movie quality to high. And you just click on export. And um, I did a 50 second clip test and it took about two minutes to export. We did uh, the one we uploaded to, uh, to our YouTube channel. That was about, a, I think about a one minute, two, about a minute 50, two minute video, somewhere around there. That took about four minutes to do in HD. And, and, and it's about a hundred, I think it was about 150 meg file or so, which it'll down, which it'll store on your hand and then you can upload it to YouTube, wherever you want to share it, share it along. So that's the uh, video editor there. As you can see, it's cool, it's functional, but it's just not quite there just yet in terms of uh, being a solid application. You can, you can get the job done, but it's gonna, it's not gonna be, it's not, it's not gonna be as, as smooth of a process as you would like. So this is Bowman here from BW1.com, reminding you to definitely check out the video that we uploaded, editing in here, uploaded directly to the YouTube channel. Definitely check that out as a great example of the quality and how kind of um, what you get out of exporting this. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page here, follow us on Twitter, and uh, be, become a fan of our Facebook fan page at facebook.com slash BW1.com. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition.